Okay, so on this episode of O'Malley's Adventure, we are heading to Hocking Hills to do some uh, backpacking. And uh, I'm gonna try and keep somewhat of a uh, vlog of this thing going. I'm not sure exactly how much of it I'm gonna get this time. Um, the first two nights we're gonna be primitive camping, so it's gonna depend on how how much charge I can keep on the batteries and uh, the first loop of the hike we're gonna do is uh, a little more difficult than uh, some of the other things that we've done so I don't know how reasonable the camera gear is gonna be but if we can um, might even use the uh, headset thing for the uh, for the GoPro but we're gonna get after it okay so it was pretty chilly last night it got down into the mid upper 20s I think my my cell phone said it got to uh, like 26 um, that's the north face that we're using right now um, really good tent I think I'm gonna do a separate review on that tent uh, it's a three season tent two person and two person is a tight two person but uh, last night, I mean, you really didn't want any extra space because uh, heat was very limited. <laughs> um, the campsites here do allow uh, fires. There's probably two more or three more sites down that path. And then up the hill, I don't know if it's going to show it's not a steep hill but up at the top of the hill there's a parking lot and uh, you leave your car and everything up and then you bring all your stuff down and as you can see it took us two trips I believe uh, to bring everything down it's not that bad but um, today we're gonna hike the more difficult of the two loops I believe each of them is a little over eight miles. So there'll be eight today, eight tomorrow. And uh, it's supposed to be chilly again tonight, but uh, now that everything's set up, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier. I'm gonna get some breakfast and uh, I believe she's going to uh, up to the car to grab some stuff. And uh, we're gonna leave out on the hike here in a little bit. So stay tuned starting our trek on the north loop the north loop is supposed to be slightly more challenging than the south loop uh, it said it's a little bit harder than moderate so we'll see what moderate means here probably in about the next hour or so okay so we're only a couple miles into the north loop and there is a serious amount of logging going on here and it says that the trail is being rerouted so we followed what we thought was the rerouted route and it's not the rerouted route <laughs> unless the signs are old because um, it is spring um, but I think we found a way through it so we're gonna go that way words cannot explain how steep that is and we're about halfway going that way uh, we actually debated on whether or not to bring trekking poles and uh, I'm kind of wishing instead of one I had two <laughs> okay so we're just shy of the halfway point and uh, the climb that I just talk to you from that was like the halfway mark and I'll say in all my time backpacking I haven't been on one that was that steep for that long of a period of time that one that one cooked the legs a little bit so now we're heading down I'm gonna give you a, a view of looking across that's the ridge on the other side of the highway And she's probably 
15, 20 feet from me and then passed her all the way down there. Um, I'm gonna just guess at 250 feet, easy. Um, and there's only one way down. If you go this way, you, you kind of fall off an edge. If you go this way, you kind of fall off an edge. Uh, we'll see you at lunch. The lunch of champions, spam. Teriyaki beef jerky and pepperoni. Pepperoni? Bologna. This is called carnivore on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got a little debrief from the uh, the loop that we did today. Um, it's a little bit more than what the uh, average person is probably going to want to do. Um, listed as an intermediate to maybe a little bit more. And I can tell you that with a pack on, uh, trekking poles would benefit. I took one and I almost didn't take that, which would have been a big mistake. Um, almost 5,000 feet of climbing, nine-ish miles. And uh, we left at 9.30 and we got back at 4.30. Uh, we stopped for lunch, and we stopped for a couple water breaks. Uh, the rest of the time, we was we were hiking. Um, that being said, I don't think a tennis shoes is a good idea. Something that's legitimate hiking boots is uh, a good idea. We didn't run into a, too much mud, but there was some softer spots. But there are sections where the rocks and the roots come through the tr the trail, and if you had on tennis shoes, it would probably destroy the bottom of your feet so hiking boots is a really good idea hiking boots trekking poles um and you cross the there's water. what and you cross the water 900 and million it, and times. there's a couple cricks and you're going to cross that water 742 times i think that's when we stopped counting <laughs> so uh anywho it's a good hike um if you're prepared for it if you if you're out of shape um pass on it for a while um, because I, I, I can see where maybe somebody could specifically with this loop could bite off a little bit more than they they could chew and end up having to make that dreaded call for someone to come get them <laughs> anyway we didn't get any use of the camera um, there there was especially the second half of the hike um, I didn't even take the GoPro out uh, as much as I wanted to so anyway tomorrow's another day tomorrow's supposed to be the easy loop but we'll we'll see how easy is relative right now so anywho we'll see you tomorrow battery's almost dead uh -oh. I have to be quick so we're halfway through the southern loop the southern loop is supposed to be a little bit less challenging and as far as the type of trail yes but as far as the climbing and descending I'm gonna say not so much um, the southern loop has a little bit more water on it right now and it's mid the middle of March um, and you don't cross the actual creek as much as you do on the northern loop so there's some slight differences. Um, I would say maybe if you had older kids, the Southern Loop would be okay. But if they're younger, uh, no. There's probably better places to go hiking down here. Okay, so it's day three. It's Monday the 22nd, and uh, we're taking a little bit of a recovery day. Uh, the past two days, even though we did the hard loop first, followed by the second, which was supposed to be easier, uh, relatively speaking, it kind of was. Um, it's time to give the legs a break today. Um, slept really good last night. Uh, Big Rock is a very nice place to stay if you want R&R. &R. There's a hot tub sitting right over there off camera, and we've spent quite a bit of time in it, uh, getting our legs to feel something remotely close to normal. 
So I think tomorrow we're gonna end up hiking the property here at Big Rock and uh, I'm gonna further test that lens. I'll probably roll in some pictures uh, of Big Rock uh, with that lens, sort of dual roll because I'm actually doing a review with the lens as well, but that's a, it's a separate uh, video. But um, if you get a chance to get your Google machine out and type in Big Rock and uh, check it out, this is the first time staying in this cabin. This is the uh, back 40 cabin. You can tell the same person designed them, but they're completely different. That's all I'm gonna say. I, I don't know if I'm gonna do a walkthrough or not. Each cabin here is unique. The same guy uh, put them together, um, but they're unique to say the least. They're probably not any type of cabin you've stayed in before. So that being said, I'm gonna get back to drinking coffee and r and R. I'm actually shooting this at like four o'clock in the afternoon. We've been lazy today to, to say the least. But anyway, tomorrow we're gonna hike through Big Rock. Okay, so this is day four or five. Five. Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Five. Day five, legs are kind of recovered. Um, not near as bad as yesterday. Um, we're at the top of almost top of Prophet's Peak and we're on Big Rock's uh, property right now. Um, it's looking like rain for tomorrow and the last day. Check date, check out day. So this will probably be the last day of actual hiking. So tomorrow's update will probably come from the picnic table or the hot tub. What say you? The future is unknown. <laughs> so we made it back it's the final day we're in the process of unloading I didn't get to shoot a video yesterday we ended up just lounging around and uh, watching a couple movies and uh, relaxing a little bit in the hot tub but anyway <clears throat> that's a wrap for this trip um, you're probably gonna see something similar to this but maybe a little bit of work down there specifically for Big Rock and when I do that, I'm going to document that as well. But anyway, <clears throat> again, if you haven't been to Big Rock, um, for sure go down there and check it out. The Hocking Hills, gen uh, the Hocking Hills area in general. Uh, th there's a lot to do down there, and it isn't very expensive as far as uh, overall cost. If you want to keep the cost down, there's a way to do it. Until next time, stay sharp, keep a tight shot group, and rock on.